don't be afraid to get in there and do it because you're going to learn a lot along the way. Hey, I'm Jess. Um, I'm a builder. I've got land in the Ozark Mountains. I've got a Woodland Mills HM126. I'm a new sawmill owner, so I am still learning about it. We have been cutting live edge cedar for the tiny house that I'm currently building. We are going to use a lot of uh, my cedar for siding and trim, and we're going to use it on the inside of the tiny house and stuff like that. You know, we're, we're building houses and cabins and tiny houses and shops and all kinds of stuff. Woodland Mills has been an excellent company to work with to uh, kind of make all of those dreams come true for us because having a sawmill really has changed um, everything that I do at our land. Buying a sawmill was probably the number one um, best investment we've made since we've had our property. When we started, I didn't really have anything built on my property except just a a lean to just to kind of put stuff underneath keep it out of the weather and whatnot and uh, I told my wife I need to build a tool shed and so started kind of building that built a platform and um, ended up making that a 10 by 16 and I remember calling her on the phone and saying hey you know uh, this is probably big enough to turn it into a tiny house and <laughs> changed our mind on that real quick because we really liked the idea of having somewhere to stay on our property. Started doing some logging, uh, built a logging road, cut a lot of cedar down. We have a lot of cedar here in Arkansas. That's just what we do. Got it all framed out, um, put a loft in it, and um, we're, we're just now starting to use some of that cedar that we cut on the sawmill to trim out windows and do things like that in the tiny house now i'm not done i'm about halfway done with it right now but we've got a lot of cedar stacked up that we've cut on the sawmill glad y'all are here but i gotta get busy i watch so many youtube videos people using woodland mills it really helped to uh, have a basic understanding of what to do, you know what I mean? Of getting a log up there and actually being able to cut it the right way and stuff like that. And through the process of just being a YouTuber, I also met other YouTubers that had sawmills and I've been to their houses and, and learned from them. And that's helped me out quite a bit. Right now, we've mainly been cutting cedar. We've been clearing those off of our property. It's anywhere from, you know, post size up to, you know, probably our, our biggest cedar, I'd say is about 22 inches in diameter at the base. Uh, right now, we've been cutting live edge and that's, that's about an inch and a quarter uh, thick. Smaller ones will cut up for trim and things like that. I'm going to put um, cedar on the ceiling on the inside. I've also used a lot of reclaimed material on this tiny house, you know, tearing an old building down, salvaging what lumber I can get out of it, dimensional lumber, um, r metal roofing and things like that. If you, if you look at the tiny house, any of the recent videos, you can see it's kind of got like an old metal roof on it. And that is kind of the look that we're going for, you know, on our property. Uh, we recently, uh, tore down a, a big barn that was about 80 to 100 years old. And um, I got a lot of barn wood from that. It's also just kind of neat, you know, um, using reclaimed material um, and just repurposing old stuff that, that may get thrown away, you know. Anyways, that's been a bit of a challenge, but it's also been fun in the process of doing that. This tiny house I'm building right now is like a combination of sawmill lumber reclaim material, uh, some new stuff, but uh, it's kind of a hodgepodge of, of what I've got. You know, I would recommend, you know, especially to somebody that doesn't really know what to do. I've been building stuff for a really long time, you know, so I already kind of had experience going into that. But um, anybody that wants to do stuff on their own and has land and has trees, I highly, highly recommend uh, getting a sawmill.
specifically at Woodland Mills because I do honestly feel like they are the best bang for their buck. It can just absolutely change everything that you do on your property just by having access to cutting your own lumber. Uh, one recommendation I always make to people is if you don't know, overbuild. You know what I mean? Um, you definitely don't ever want to underbuild anything because then you're going to have problems. But a lot of us out here are not structural engineers. And uh, if you feel like it needs extra board or if you feel like you need to beef up your rafters, if you're not quite sure, you know, if a, if a two by six is going to be strong enough, go with a two by eight. You know what I mean? You know, if you do everything right in the beginning from the foundation uh, on building stuff and taking the time just to just to get it, you know, micro adjusted, you know, um, it's going to turn out better in the long run whenever you're putting everything together. You know, if you're square and level, start the process. And even if you don't know how to do everything ahead of time, just start doing it, you know, because once you start doing it, you start figuring out how to do it, you know, and the more you do, the more you're going to learn. And the more you learn, the more advanced you get and the more stuff you can do. And if, if anybody's going to do it like I did on, on YouTube, you're also going to meet a lot of people along the way that might know more than you do that can help. Don't be afraid to get in there and do it because you're going to learn a lot along the way. And if you get stumped in putting a sawmill together or building a house or cutting trees down or logging, uh, you're going to figure it out. And if you mess up, you're going to learn from that mistake and you're probably not going to make that mistake again. And whenever you look back, you're like, man, you know, I've come a long ways since day one. You know what I mean? And uh, there is a sense of, you know, real accomplishment on doing things yourself and having to force yourself to figure things out. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I would recommend is just jump in there and, and do it, man. That's it. That's the only way you're really going to learn 